upon everything from concert tickets to credit cards to airline tickets, loans, and yes, even your home rental. We're talking about those extra little fees you don't understand, like handling fees, application fees, and convenience fees. According to the White House, Americans are collectively spending nearly $65 billion a year on these hidden fees. So we're on your side tonight, making sure you know the truth about what fees you are obligated to pay when it comes down to your rent. Junk fees are fees that are um, usually surprising, usually unexpected, usually uh, unwelcome by those who have to pay them. Jonas Bordo is the CEO of Dwellsy, a site for residential home rentals and subject matter expert to the White House on rentals and junk fees as they prepared a blueprint for a renter bill of rights. The bill of rights is not a legal document. It is only intended to be used to support the development of policies and practices. The landlords are always looking for an edge to, to get a little bit of extra profit out of their properties. Uh, and as a result of that, they are looking at creative ideas for new fees. It may be hard to sympathize with your landlord, but many of them are just trying to make ends meet as well. To prevent the shock of unwanted fees, the first thing you need to do is read the lease. Every page, every word. This is a thing that every renter needs to do and so few of us do, which is read the lease. And the lease is awful to read. President Biden is calling on federal agencies, Congress, and private companies to provide honest, transparent pricing to Americans while working to get rid of junk fees for good. If understanding your lease and all the fees seems overwhelming, ask the leasing office for help. Can you walk me through the lease, please? If you know the lease, then you know what they can and cannot charge you for. Frankly, any fee that you're being charged that is not in the lease, you don't have to pay. From a consumer advice standpoint, it would be advisable for people to pay close attention to the rental agreement before signing. Your signature is your agreement. But once you've signed the lease, you're on the hook for that. If you're fighting a fee you feel is unfair and that fee is not in the lease, turn to the Attorney General's office in the state where you're renting to determine the legality of that fee. The lease is a binding legal contract between you and your landlord. And so any fee that's not in the lease, you should challenge. Keep that in mind. All right, some of the most common upfront rental fees are for applications, background checks, credit checks, security deposit, sometimes first and last month's rent, and a pet deposit if you have a furry family member. That doesn't count ongoing fees if you get the apartment like parking, utilities, and pet rent. Don't sign the lease unless you clearly understand your financial responsibility as a renter and you feel confident that you will be able to cover all of the costs. All right, time now for your search.